What's up, everybody? Dan the Man in the house. I want to welcome you back to Dan the Man's Weekly. Today is Thursday, August 3rd, 2023. Yep. And I know. And the reason why I'm wearing this shirt is because, you know, today marks four years of the unexpected tragedy that we will never forget. Yes, that's right. That that tragedy we will never forget. Yes, we will never forget this unforgettable, fateful day. And it's now been four years since we've lost 23 of our own. And we will always remember them. That's right. So, always God, ours our thoughts and prayers out to everybody. The goes to thoughts and also our thoughts and prayers out to the families. And especially to those who were impacted four years ago that we will never forget this unforgettable fateful day and and as always El Paso Strong yes and as we still continue to heal on and as you remember justice has been served so, so thank goodness so I, we will continue to, we will still continue to represent my city, my hometown, always represent the 915. Always El Paso strong. That's right. So, as you know, the city is now now 150 years of its anniversary so happy 150th anniversary to the 915 my hometown El that's right so, hmm. uh, okay and I'm three weeks. Uh, I'm three weeks away to my nine-year anniversary of Dan the Man's Weekly. That's right. And 45 blogs. Uh, I'm sorry. And 45 birthday tributes still in the works. Recapping the 44.
Yep, those are my 44 birthday trivia all nice so far. Okay. Alright, plenty to talk about, but uh, I'm going to skip out on the miscellaneous news. And, and especially... Yeah, very bad news, so we're going to have to skip that one. So, um, yeah, not enough time. We'll keep you guys posted. Watch New World News Tonight with David Muir if you have to on ABC. All right, uh, let's go to switch gears now uh, to be want. Okay, yeah, I've done the stay-at-home open mic right there. Yeah, so... All right, and since I already did the one for, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, let's see. <laughs> Sorry. so right now, here's the August, uh, since, uh, oh wait, uh, since, uh, I know last, last Monday was the 31st, so, uh, we'll, we'll get to, so, yeah, I will get to this, um, on, on Monday, so, yeah, since um, I'll share this one for for this coming Monday. Well, even though, um, but even though, um, I will uh, post some upcoming events for on my Instagram stories. So please be on the lookout for that. For those of you who have me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Important, okay? So yeah, since I'm running low on time and schedule, if you know what I mean. So. All right, guys. So please, uh, or go to B Wombs. Uh, so more on B Wombs. The rest is history. Yeah, and I'm I'm behind schedule on my on my on the scenes of my poetry slam. We'll be, we'll keep you posted on that. Okay. All right, switching gears now to. Um, like I said, the upcoming events and new releases. Alright, those on backwards. <laughs> okay. And like I said, I'm going to post the Instagram stories. I'm sorry, the uh, upcoming events and new releases, especially promotions as well. I'm going to uh, follow me on my Instagram pages. Uh, follow me on my Instagram store. I mean, follow me on my Instagram and see it. Okay, it'll be on my Instagram stories as well. So there's some upcoming events, stories, and that. That includes the City Magazine as well. Alright, so please, just be on the lookout for that. Okay. Alright, uh, switching gears now to sports. Okay, here's the updates for UTEP soccer. Especially UTEP football. And yeah, the Cowboys. Alright, be on the lookout for that, so please. Alright, so as always, go Miners. And go Cowboys. Okay, switching gears now. On a sadder note, uh, Sinead O'Connor, she's a, an outstanding Irish singer and 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 activist as well. Um, yeah, I've, uh, I've heard a couple of her a couple of her songs, including "Nothing Compares to You," which was a Grammy-winning hit, for which uh, she she known famously for turning it down for turning down the for declining her Emmy her Grammy win. I don't know why. Well, yeah, it's kind of like um, kind of like Georgie Scott or Marlon Brando turning down their Oscar wins. I don't I don't understand. Well. But anyway, uh, besides nothing compares to you, uh, there's two songs that I really like from her, uh, that, uh, the funeral song and for one more day. That that's a those are beautiful songs right there. Like it was featured on the, it was featured on from the movie Veronica Gear and it was nice. Also, she has more uh, albums. She has at least um, ten albums, studio albums, one live artist, and five compares and four music albums. 
32 music videos, 54 singles, including um, yeah, several songs. And so far, so fast. Uh, no, wait, that's not it. Okay, here it is. Uh, the Troy, Makita, uh, Jump, uh, Jump into the River, Silent Night. Um, he had success, but made a failure of her home. Don't cry, and um, you made me the thief of your own heart with Gavin Faraday. Uh, thank me for hearing Friday Fire of Babylon, No Man's Woman, uh, My Look on Love, and I Don't Know Him, How to Love Him. Yeah, and uh, among other among other hit hit films, and yeah. And I know that the um, and aside besides uh, the unexpected controversy as you saw on SNL and especially uh, and, and it was unbelievable. But especially before uh, converting to Islam, respectfully. But but I gotta say an outstanding. Um, but she had, she put up the heart with grace and what she had stood up for. But but I respect that and and but I gotta say she was an outstanding singer songwriter. And, and the most importantly, an outstanding activist as well. She's got spirit. But sadly, um, Sinead O'Connor passed away at the age of 56. So, um, yeah, so rest in peace to the uh, Grammy winning uh, singer songwriter and, and, and spiritual activist, Sinead O'Connor. Also on a sadder note, uh, Paul Rubens, yes, um, everybody loves, everybody loves Pee Wee Herman, yeah, for the Pee Wee's Playhouse that earning him 15 Emmy Awards during its run, that was unbelievable, <laughs> yeah, and especially his films like Pee Wee's Big Adventure by, and its sequel, Pee Wee's Big, Big Top Pee Wee, and especially, yeah, Pee Wee's Big House, and then, and then the last, uh, Pee Wee's Big Holiday on Netflix. <laughs> it was nice, so. And appeared in non, uh, and appeared in non, uh, Pee Wee roles, including, uh, the, the Blues Brothers, yeah, uh, Chi Chi Chong's Nice Next Movie and Nice Dreams, yeah, uh, Meatballs 2 and Flight of the Navigator, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> And also, uh, Batman Returns, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Voice of Locke, and The Nightmare of Before Christmas, Dungeon Checks In, Matilda, Buddy, uh, Dr. Doolittle, The Voice of the Raccoon, and The Spleen from Mystery Men, I like. Also, oh yeah, he's co-starring with jo Johnny Depp in Blow, I remember that movie, uh, Teacher's Pet, and The Voice of Dennis. Oh, The Tripper, uh, the horror film The Tripper, directed by David Arquette, yep. And the voice of Jokey Smurf from the Smurfs and the sequel, and yeah, and Accidental Love. But I know he made his guest roles, including uh, uh, including uh, 227, Murphy Brown, Ally McBeal, 30 Rock, We Know 911, and uh, uh, yeah, and um, and uh, I don't I, I don't recall. Did he really appear on The Simpsons? I think uh, I don't. Hmm. I don't know. And his last guest role was, uh, and I know his last guest role was, uh, uh, wait a minute, his last guest role was, was Bob's Burgers and the Connors, so, yeah, but, I gotta say, everybody, man, what an outstanding actor, and, and a beloved favorite Pee Wee Herman, so, yeah, but sadly, Paul Rubin's passed away at the age of 70, so, Rest in peace to an Emmy winning uh, actor and especially, especially, um, uh, rest in peace, Paul Rubens, also known as Pee Wee Harmon. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Alright, just look, um, First off, uh, yeah, I want to say a uh, huge shout-outs for the past couple of weeks. Like, for the one from B1s, that includes uh, the one from the B1 Stay at Home Open Mic, uh, the one, yeah, open the Stay at Home one, and also the one from the OC Dog Brewery from a week ago, and especially, uh, especially the one we made a debut on Ground, and it's very nice. So, um, yeah, take a look.
Yes. Uh, thank you to Ooh La La for their cool performance, uh, for closing the State Line Music Series presented by Frederick Mandel. Thank you. Thank you once again. And especially uh, thank you, Frederick Mendel, for bringing back the State Live Music Series, especially his law offices. And thanks to the Special Olympics of Texas for uh, an excellent four-month run. Four-month run, and um, and we look forward we look forward for next season. Also, uh, huge shout outs to the cast and crew of the of the Plaza uh, of the of the Creative EP. Uh, it's Drew Brown and Doug Poet for hosting this one, and also Hector G of the Sub Harmony City Product Productions for the amazing uh, short movies, especially the local flavors, and everybody in the cast and crew of the Plaza Classic Film Festival. And um, this is beautiful. I wish I had a chance to meet Edward James Almas or Helen Hunt. I didn't get a chance to, but I definitely will. For next, for next, uh, for next year, I will find out who the celebrity is. So there goes nothing. So shout outs to you guys, and thanks to everyone those who participated in the in the pitch idea. So uh, here it is. the rest among others All right, that's nice. All right, happy anniversary to those who had their anniversaries, especially those who had their families. My best to them.
Okay, and big congrats to those who tie the knot and or those who got engaged or had their or expecting or had the baby. Well, yeah, you know the rest. Okay, and my sympathies of those who um, lost their loved ones. My thoughts and prayers are with them. Lost, um, as I placed this city magazine cover for the August 3rd edition right here, as we will never forget this unforgettable tragedy four years ago. So always my thoughts and prayers are with them. Always, always, El Paso strong. All right, let's get to birthdays. Uh, we're gonna go back, uh, I think Tuesday, I think Tuesday, like, till yesterday. All right, birthdays today for for this uh, anniversary of this tragedy. All right, birthdays tomorrow on the 4th. All right, birthdays over the weekend for Saturday the 5th and Sunday the 6th. Okay, and the rest for the week of Monday the 7th.
And if I've gone more than that, I guess you already know. I've already gone further. So, yeah, just to let you know. Okay, I guess that is it. Uh, that's all the birthdays for right now. Um, yeah, I know it's been four years since the unforgettable tragedy we will never forget. Let's keep my, my hometown strong. and especially other cities as well. Yes, and, um, but always, um, to, but we, uh, we gotta stay strong, always El Paso strong, and yes, um, we'll never forget this unforgettable tragedy four years ago. So we got, so we got, we got to have faith on this one. So, all right, guys, um, that is it. And yes, um, so um, I will keep you posted whenever the updates come available. Whenever, depending on this, I will keep you posted. And um, and uh, if um, uh, and I'll just let you know my 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 nine year anniversary is on on Friday um, August 25th you guys do not want to miss it yeah there it is and uh, I will keep you posted when the updates come available depending on the computer I got it under maintenance so Alright guys, uh, guys be careful out there, and I know the, it's hot out there, so please stay, uh, stay cool. Alright, and that is it for now. Alright, um, and y'all have a great rest of the week. Uh, stay safe, stay strong, stay healthy, um, and like I said, I'll keep you posted when you whenever comes first. So, but as always, representing my hometown, always El Paso strong. All right, guys. Stay safe, everybody. Please be careful. Talk to you guys again soon. All right. And don't forget, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. Stay safe, everybody. You all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me. Like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan the Man's Weekly. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Twitter is now X. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, I'll explain about that later. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man Tennessee. Signing out.